Hello and welcome to another ADAS calibration video. My name is Brian and I'm with SmartSafe's technical support and training team. Today we'll be using our X431 Pro Plus and we'll be calibrating a 2021 Toyota Corolla uh, front recognition camera. So let's go ahead and get started. We'll be using our iSmartLink 801 display tablet and first we need to go ahead and connect the VCI to the vehicle. The VCI is conveniently located right here in the tablet. So I'll go ahead and get that plugged in. Next, we'll flip the ignition onto position two. And then we'll start by pressing the ADAS calibration button. Okay, the tablet is communicating with the vehicle. And we'll go ahead and select 16 pin DLC. That's the default for our Toyotas here in North America. And this being a 2021, we'll go ahead and select the 2021 model year. This particular vehicle is not equipped with the smart key, so we'll choose without. And we can see that we've read the information from the vehicle, so I'll go ahead and press OK. OK. We'll go ahead and start off by clicking on the ADAS system scan. This will scan all of the ADAS features that are available in this vehicle. And this vehicle currently doesn't have any, uh, any uh, trouble codes or anything or, or DTC codes. So we'll go ahead, but we'll go ahead and perform the scan anyways and create our pre-repair report. Now the pre-repair report is important uh, because you want to create that baseline for the vehicle so that if there were any, any codes already on the vehicle, you wouldn't particularly be blamed for those um, that are you know outside of the ADAS um, functions. So we'll go ahead and create a report. Again, the report type will be pre-repair. And in the pre-report information, you can go ahead and enter things like a work order number or a maintenance number. This is also your opportunity to put the customer's name in there. You can also take photos of the vehicle. It has, we have a built-in camera right here on the tablet. So I can go ahead and click the camera and take a picture, for example, uh, if we're doing a windshield replacement, we might want to take a picture of the windshield. So we'll go ahead and add that to our pre-repair. And we'll save our report. So now we're ready to go ahead and start the calibration function and we'll select front camera calibration. And we'll go ahead, next we'll check off the recognition camera access adjust, that's the a recommended step. So we'll click on that. And you'll be given a note of what's recommended to be performed. Uh, basically your prerequisite checklist. So we want to make sure that uh, the vehicle is parked on a flat surface, the wheels are pointed straight, all your tire pressures are set to the manufacturer specification, um, that the vehicle doors are all closed, and that there's no weight or anybody sitting inside the car while you're performing the calibration. Um, so we'll go ahead and hit OK. Next, we'll be prompted to select which targeting frame we're using, or calibration frame, and we're gonna be doing it with the ADAS Pro Plus, X431 ADAS Pro Plus, so I'll select that. And we'll go ahead and move on to our first step, and that is to reset the device to all the default values. So let's go ahead and do that next. So are there are three positions on the frame that need to be reset. First is the parallel fine tuning, which is basically the yaw positioning of the frame. Then there's the left-right fine tuning, and that's moving the frame itself side to side. 
And finally, there's the fore and aft or front and rear fine tuning position. So the next step is to install the rear wheel clamps. We'll be doing this on both rear wheels and you just simply place it on the tire. Check the bubble indicator to make sure it's level. Give it a little tight snug here. And then the main thing is to make sure this panel is parallel. So we have another bubble indicator located right here and we'll go ahead and line that up. And we'll repeat this on the other side. Our next step is to place the ranging panel right against the front bumper here. You just wanna make sure that it's parallel with the front of the vehicle here. So we'll go ahead and press next. And next we'll go ahead and turn on the central laser. Next we'll go ahead and turn on our central laser and then we'll turn on our range finding laser. And we need to set that, the distance of the frame to the vehicle at 1,244 millimeters. So currently we're at 1,600. So we'll go ahead and move our frame forward. And get that close to 1,244 as possible while keeping it as centered to the vehicle as possible. So it looks like we're at 1230 and we're right about there. All right, so we'll move on to our next step. The next thing is to check the level of the frame. So we'll look at our bubble indicators here and it looks like we just need to make a minor adjustment to this side here. And we're spot on there now. So we'll go ahead and move on to the next step. So we'll turn on our, make sure that our stand is still at 1244. And next we're gonna turn on our side lasers here. And these are gonna be pointing to the back of the uh, rear wheel clamp range finders range panels, I'm sorry. And we wanna get that to an equal value. 48.35, so we're gonna turn this way a little bit. And we're gonna come out to about 48. 12, I believe. Yeah, 4812. Yeah, okay. And then we'll still make sure that we're at our 1244 and we'll move on to our next step. So next we need to make sure that our frame is parallel to the vehicle here. So I can see that we've moved off center a little bit. So we can fine tune back to center by twisting this knob. And we're good to go there. Checking our sides. All right. And then the last thing we need to do here is go ahead and adjust our height. And we need to bring our height up to 1350. So we'll power on our lift. And for that fine tune adjustment, I'll just use the hand crank behind here to get it to our 1350. All right, next step is to go ahead and install our target. Now the target that we'll be using in this particular uh, calibration is the LAM01062. And I happen to have that right here. And we'll go ahead and get this positioned properly. I believe for this one, it's gonna start at the center position and then we'll move it over to the second position here on the left and the third position over here on the right. We need to have our spacing from center at 550 millimeters. So looking here, this one's already set to 550 and this one here is also set to 550 already. So we're good to go on that. So we'll go ahead and first confirm that we're still centered We'll go ahead and turn off this laser and remove it. 
and we'll place our target in this position here. Confirm all of our height and our distance. So we'll go ahead and turn off all of our lasers. Oh, one more. All right, and we're ready to calibrate. All right, we'll begin by pressing the calibration button. We have our target placed in our first position. Okay, that was a successful calibration on the first position. We'll go ahead and move our target now to position two. And we'll go ahead and press the calibration button again. All right, and that was successful. So we'll go ahead and move our target now to position three. And we'll press the calibration button again. All right, we have a successful calibration of the recognition camera. So I'll go ahead and press okay. I will go ahead and confirm that we want to save our ADAS report. And then we'll go ahead and run another scan just to make sure that we are clear of any DTC codes. So we'll start scanning. Looks like everything is clear, so I'll go ahead and generate our post repair report. So I'll click on po post repair under report type. We'll click on the add button. We'll add our pre repair as well as our diagnostics report to complete our post repair. And we'll hit OK. And this generates our post repair report, which can includes the pre repair, the diagnostics, and the post repair results. So we'll click save. And at this point we could email it or print it directly from the tablet. So this concludes another calibration video. Uh, we hope that you find it helpful and we look forward to seeing you for the next one. Thank you.